with Sarah and I'm going to share some ornaments that I've been making. I am doing wood burning or pyrography and all I've done is taken some stamps and these are actually stamps that I've had that I've made um, polymer clay tiles with and I'm stamping them onto these little round wood pieces and I, I think this might be um, this could be birch I'm not really sure it doesn't say it on the packaging and I'm out so I need to go get more because I'm really having fun and I'm using my dye ink which this is the distress ink by Tim Holtz um, and you just stamp it right onto the wood and burn and I'm using my new tool my new um, coal wood super pro 2 and because some of the stuff I did like this one I just used my um, the wood burner that I got from uh, Michaels and I wasn't having as good of luck with it and so I decided to upgrade and get the better machine and it has more of a temperature control and it has a lot more choices when it comes to the tips these are some of those birch uh, they're just little birch these were coasters I think that I bought I bought like a set of four coasters because they were cheaper I could I used my coupon but I did a couple of them and so you can see like I'm getting better so on this happy holidays that's not bad but I I wanted I centered them more and I just started getting better and better and better it's different when you burn on this than it is when you burn on this and so I'm loving that I can turn my heat setting down on my um, my coal wood and really have a light touch because I have a heavy heavy hand even with painting or with that whatever I do I never start light I always go in full steam so this was a real challenge for me to, and patience because <coughs> it's gonna burn regardless it's it's fire it's like you're messing with fire so it has to do with how long you hold the tip on there and how hot it is and how fast you move the tool so um, this one I just did today and um, I'm getting it like you can tell the the shading is more subtle like but if you look at um, like this one this was with my other tool I was just pushing and, and basically gouging the wood with the tool so this one this one's really like you can kind of still see my stroke marks with the little um, and I think I'm just using my regular shader the one that came with it it's like a it's got this shape to it and I'll do a demo I'll do a whole ornament I'm out of them right now I used them all up so I'm gonna get some more tomorrow and I'll do a tutorial this wood is just harder and um, so you can turn up the heat a little bit more with this and um, see this I wrote my my numbers with the dotting tool and it kinda oh, I spit alright but look these are the really pretty ones this is what I wanted to show you but I'll show you like so these were the first ones I did and look how I just I did not go in there with a light touch at all and I just burnt the heck out of it and I just been using colored pencils to color in some of the design but I actually like it when it has very little or I actually use my um, my jelly roll pens and just did a little red and a little gold and that's it um, but I, at first I was coloring a little too much like I colored the whole thing I think it kind of takes away from the burning so then this one see I did pretty good with the burning but then when I colored it I don't know it took it takes away from me I don't know maybe I'll put a little um, you know what I should do is put some Wink Estella and anything that shimmers is makes it better for me but something about that is just bugging me. Um, but then I kind of stopped. Now look at this one. This one I did perfect. I did the outline perfect. And then when I went to shade it, it was way too hot. I had my dial set. And this wood burns easier than this wood. 
So if it was set at the same setting, I probably would have been okay burning this one. But when I went with this one, it just went, it totally, so I mean, I don't love that. Like I'm pretty much, that's, that's wasted. Like I don't like it. And, but then I did this one and see how much gentler I did the, the shading. It's so much like, it's just subtle. And I just put a little bit of color on there, but then I think I even did a better one right here. So, and this is actually, I think I had a question about this. This is a stamp by Hero Arts Crafts. And let's see if there's a name. Doesn't, doesn't have a name, but there's four stockings. And I think I got this at AC Moore last year. I used it for clay, but it's actually too a little bit big for clay. So I'm glad I had it for this. And then I just inked up half of it at a time and did, so see, this is the four, um, the four different stockings. But see how, like, subtle this is? And because I put the, the gel pen on the hearts, I just did the ribbon on this one. But I think they're so cute. And then I put the year, I didn't put the year on that one. I got to sign my name on this one. But I'm getting better. Like, see how soft the shading is? Because you only need a little bit. You don't need it to be super dark. Um, let's see. I did this one. This one wasn't really a Christmassy one. And this is a stamp that I had. And it's ink a dink a do. And I ordered this online. Probably from Amazon. But, again, I was trying stippling and... You just have to be really gentle with your temperature and the duration for how long you hold it on the wood, how fast you move the, the tip as well. But I think that turned out pretty cute. So then I'm just as for comparison. So see here's one with the color and here's one that I didn't use the color. And I like it. I think it looks fine. I just put a little bit of gold Gel put, jelly roll pen on the clacker thing and that's it and I sign it but I think they're turning out pretty cute these ornaments work up so quick like you could probably do two in an hour at least I would say um, now I'm getting pretty quick at it because I know what I want to do and all I did was take tracing paper and trace the shape and then I just wrote happy holidays and then I just line it up on here wherever I want it because the happy wasn't exactly straight um, and then I just burn it in there so I have those bells and then these are this one and this one these are like some of my, these two are like really close to my favorites like I love this one I actually burned this section after like it was done and then I came back and burned it and I kind of messed it up a little bit but that's really close to perfect like I'm pretty happy with that and I put my name and I did this one pretty good too I, I see where I messed up I, well I didn't mess up but I need to add a couple lines but I, I wish these were thinner but I think they're cool these are gonna be gifts I know I know who I'm gonna give these to but isn't that cool and I love how I shaded like the bow to kind of give it dimension. And then just adding that little bit of glitter is super cute. And then there's this one, the candles. This was the first one I did and I added color. And then this one, I just used all fire and just a little bit of berries and the candle. I love it. I turned out cool. Then when I went back over the words, because it was kind of not as dark, I kind of made some fat and some skinny, but I love this one. This one's so cool. Actually, I see where I could add, I have to add a couple. You know what? This is how quick this heats up. I'm going to go ahead and heat it up right now, and I will put those lines in here. And this is a skew tip, and, but it has a rounded heel and toe. And I like that a lot. 
So where was that candy cane too? I have a candy cane, this one right here. So right now this is at a five and a half and I'm using the detail side of my um, tool. So this is not the heavy duty um, wire, but let's see. I am going to use it on here first because this takes, and here's what you need to have a piece with you that you can test out. So have a piece of the same material with you nearby so that you can um, test out. And I'm just going to touch it. Oops. That's how hot that was and I got it on my bow. So I'm being a little aggressive because that's the thing. I need to reel it in, really reel it in and think and take my time. Now what was I going to do? Oh, that leaf. But I am going to turn this down. I'm going to go back to like a three and a half. And I'm going to just sit, because look how, I mean, actually, that's not too bad. I think I can do it. Just be very gentle. But I like this tip a lot better, the rounded tip of the skew instead of just being the straight pointy tip which I did do a couple of these like maybe this one and you you can still do it but look how pointy that is I mean it's super pointy all right so I'm gonna let me show you while I'm at it. I'm gonna put this back over here turn it off and I did do let me go back up I did do my S I think it goes this way I just untangled it and I think I should get another one and do like cuter designs. This is how it goes, I think. But I shaded and I still wasn't really perfecting it yet. So I did, I just shaded around everything. I mean, I think it looks pretty cool, but I could do better. I know I can do better and it's only been like a couple days and then here's kind of the, what is it called, the, that was when I first had my first tool, I think that's still with my first tool because it's a much thicker lines, then I started getting with the thinner lines, now look how thin the lines are for this one, this is my new tool, but my shading, again, I, I, I need to do one more and I ran out again, I need to do one more of these and really get it not too hot when I shade. See, because when I start shading, it just, it's too dark. As soon as I touch it, see, this isn't plugged in right now. Or, I mean, it's the, not the power's not on. I just really want to barely touch it and barely, and then you can always build. But, you know, I go in full strength, and then you can't take it back. There's no, you know, you can't take it back. So I'm liking it, and these things are working up super quick. So, I mean, like I said, I can make two or three ornaments in an hour. If I stamp them out and I just stamp it with this ink onto the wood, you sand the wood first, stamp it out, and just gently go around it, outline everything, and then come back and shade it, and then add your little um, highlights and color if you want to. All right. That's it, you guys. I'll be back. Thanks for watching.